Hi, my name is Abhishek Patel. I'm a founder of Webion Systems. In this video, we will see the extended find feature in name mapping of test complete. So for that, first, we need to navigate to the name mapping editor. So I'm gonna click on one of the object, web object, right click and click, select the show object in name mapping editor option. It will take me to the name mapping editor. Now, before we even start, the question is why do we even care or need extended file? So if you notice here carefully, test complete maps an object in a hierarchy. So this tested object is under this form login object, which is under this page, the internet to object. Okay. And during the time of running automation, test complete expects all the parents to have a unique attributes and should remain steady during the lifetime of application. Now, in the real application, this hierarchy could be a long and you may not be sure about the status of the attributes of parent objects and changing of one of the parent attribute may not find the tested object in your application which leads to object not found error message let me explain this practically so now this text box username is under the form login so when i highlight this text box username it will highlight on the screen okay now like i was saying if we have the bunch of parent object and if one object changes for instance if the attributes of this form login object changes, let me change it to login one. Okay, and save this. Now, if I try to highlight this text box username, it won't highlight. Okay, even though it has a unique attributes, it's not highlighting because the parent object that is form login got changed. Okay, and in real application, if we have a bunch of Parents objects, we aren't sure like which is going to change or which are stable. In this time, you want to use the extended find feature. Okay. Here we can see the tested object is under the parent object that is the page. So username object is under this page. So we will tell the test complete to look for this object inside the page and do not worry about any other parent object that is form login and you can use extended find for that okay so for using the extended find first we have to go and look for this object inside the mapped object to do that i'm gonna right click on the object in the aliases and gonna click on this find mapped object which will take me here and now check on this checkbox which says extended find and now drag and drop on this page internet too okay so now i'm telling my test complete to look for this text box username anywhere on the page okay so now it's independent from this form login parent object okay so now if I change, so now we already changed the attribute of this form login, okay? Now let's save this and let me highlight this again. And this time, it will highlight the object. See, it did highlight, okay? Because now the text box username is independent from this form login parent object. And if there were many parents object, still it will identify because now we are telling test complete to look for this object anywhere under the page, the internet too, that is this page, okay? So in the simple word, extended find is like separating the web object from the hierarchy, same as relative XPath if you are coming from Selenium web drive. So that's it in the extended find feature of uh, test complete or name mapping. And I hope you got an idea how to use it. If you have any questions or doubt, please feel free to write a comment and I will try my best to answer. Thank you very much. Until next time.